everyone, I hope you're all doing okay today. In this video I'm going to be filming a tutorial for you and it's going to be showing you how to put on false nails and also how to give yourself a little bit of a manicure with it as well and just the routine that I go through when I'm applying false nails like this. So I really hope you enjoy the tutorial, it's going to be um, a voiceover for the rest of it just because it's a little bit easier for me to edit it that way and this is what the final result looks like. So I really hope you enjoy the video and stay tuned to see how it's done. So the first thing you want to do is just get some nail varnish remover and remove any remaining chipped nail polish. The one I'm using is from Cutex and it's their nourishing nail polish remover for weak nails. So once you've successfully removed all the remaining nail polish and your nails are nice and clean, you can apply a cuticle remover. This one's just from Boots and it just removes any dead skin in the cuticles ready for applying the false nails. So just squeeze out a small amount at the base of the nail. and then massage it in. So then I like to take an orange wood stick just like this and push down the dead skin around the cuticle area. So once you've pushed down the cuticles you'll probably find it's a little bit of skin just sort of sticking out and that needs to be removed with a pair of cuticle trimmers which look a bit like this. Now this really doesn't hurt even though it kind of looks like you're just pulling skin away with pliers. It just sort of snips away the dead skin and leaves it nice and bare for the false nails to be applied. The next thing I'm going to do is just take my crystal nail file. This one is one that I got from Ruby and Millie a while ago, although I don't think they sell it anymore, but any crystal nail file is good. Now when you file any nails, just make sure that you're only taking the file across from one direction to the other and not back and forth, just because it's a lot healthier on the nail tip. So once you've got your chosen brand of false nails, these ones are just from Boots and they're the plain kind so you can paint any colour over the top. Then you need to start selecting the right sizes for your nails. A good idea is to get all 10 fingernail sizes out before you start gluing. Once you've got the right sizes, just take a drop of the nail glue, put it in the middle of the nail and spread around with the tip of the nail glue bottle. Place the false nail at the cuticle and push downwards towards the end of the nail to get out any air bubbles. And just repeat for all 10 fingers. Don't forget to hold onto the nail for about 30 seconds in order for the glue to completely dry. If you have any nails that are a little bit too round for the shape of your nail bed or you can't find the exact size to match your fingernail, then it's perfectly fine to just give it a little bit of a file. Then you just want to carry on gluing the rest of your nails until they're all stuck in place. So you should have something that looks a little bit like this once all the nails are applied. Of course you can leave it looking like this or you can paint over them as I'm going to do. The nail polish I'll be using is Ciate Paint Pot in the colour Mistress. So just give your nail polish a good shake up first and then you can start applying to the fingers. Now I like to apply mine really slowly in order to get a perfectly neat edge, but of course just go at your own pace. So after applying your second coat you should have something that looks a little bit like this. So now I'm going to switch on my UV lamp and then get ready my Sesh Ultra V UV Activated Top Coat. 
Apply that to all the nails and cure under the lamp for four minutes. This gives a super, super shiny and glossy top coat and leaves the nails lasting for weeks. As a final optional step, you can apply an oil to the cuticles. Here's a few examples of cuticle oils. So that's it, perfectly glossy manicured red nails. So that's it for this tutorial, I really hope you enjoyed it. I'll put links of all products used in the description bar and also pictures on my blog so go and check that out and as well there'll be links to my Facebook page and my Twitter. So just click more info and you'll see all that down there. So please don't forget to hit the subscribe button just up there if you haven't already. So I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!